Hey, everybody. Uh, I've got a little bit of unfortunate news about tonight's show. Everything's okay. It's just that my dog, Benny, ate the open credits. I don't know why he doesn't read the labels. Anyway, the good news is, is that I have right here Daniels, the superstar directing duo behind the Oscar-nominated film Everything Everywhere All at Once, and they have generously agreed to make us a new opening credits. Thank you, Stephen. We're really excited to show you what we've been working on. Me too. I mean, your film is such a fun, wild ride. It's got thank everything. You. It's thank got you. it's got hot dog hands and singing raccoons and kung fu. Oh, yeah. thank you. Yeah. yeah, but we didn't do any of that uh, for this. What? Yeah, we figured you know, it's been a long day. Your audience is probably tired. They could use a break. You can't enjoy yourself if you don't feel well rested. And so you know? we, we went with something a little more calm. Yeah. Meditative. Meditative. Guys, this is the opening to a comedy show. <laughs> no, 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 no. You shut need up. a certain amount of... What? Shut, 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 shut your face. Meditate. It's The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. Tonight, Stephen welcomes... Nick Kroll... and Congressman Jim Himes. Featuring Louis Cato and the Late Show Band. And special activity, reconnecting with a childhood friend over the phone. Plus, the life-changing realization that you are enough and always have been. And a full hour of watching a mushroom grow out of a fallen tree. To acknowledge the beauty in the fact that Everything, including you, must one day die in order for more life to form because death and growth are interconnected. Um, okay, that, that's, that's good. Jimmy, could you stop, please? Thank you. It's, uh, it's cool. It's really <laughs> cool, guys. Uh, it's just, it's a terrible opening for my show. Wait, what do you mean? We need energy, okay? I wanted explosions. I wanted fights. I want somebody to kick through a wall. We have a problem. It's time to start the show, and the audience is asleep. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry, Stephen. What do we do? Uh, you could just not do the show. No. I'm not gonna let these two inexperienced man-children ruin my show just because this is the multiverse where they suck. <laughs> Hit the lights! Watch out, watch out. Cue the announcer. Fire up the band. Yes, sir. Script! Somebody's gotta save this show. Powder! Lip gloss! Steven, it's working. The audience is waking up. You're damn right they are. Shh! Yes, they're even more pumped up than ever before. Yeah, it's almost as if that meditative opening got them even more excited. The audience needs a break. You can't have fun if you're not well rested. <laughs> one second to showtime. Seriously, one second? Yes, one second, that's it. But one second's not even enough for me to make it to stage. Unless I want to see explosions, I want to see fights. I want to see somebody kick through a wall. My stunt double! He's dead! He ran into the wall instead of the breakaway wall. Why uh, does man read labels around here? It's half a second to showtime. Half a second? <laughs> Time flies. Quick! Oh, Daniels, oh. take this body, dump it in a hole, and cover it with lye. Yes, sir. Welcome to the Dream Factory, gentlemen. I've got a show to save! <laughs> 